Okay, so for level nine, so for the top marks, we want to extend our composition to 16 bars and we want to show development in all parts. Um, so I think what I'll do first is I'm going to copy everything so there's 16 bars of material. Just so I know the length I'm aiming for. Okay, so copy that base part. And paste that. We can then start to take parts away um, to structure it. We can also... What's going on here? Emerge. No, I don't want to do that. Undo. Okay, copy. Paste. And then more of the drum fill. Copy. And paste. Paste. Copy and paste. Okay, and then the last thing is that melody. Copy, paste. Copy. And paste. Okay, this is a bit tedious, however, it just means that it can save me time as I'm structuring it. So what I want to do next is give it a structure. So I don't want them all to start at the beginning. I'm going to pick, so I'm not going to start with my melody. So I'm going to get rid of that melody. And then I'm thinking I might start with my bass line. So I might start with just bass and drums. Okay, so next I can have my whiff coming in. And then my melody. Okay, now the last thing is to make sure I've got development in all my parts. So the whiff. Um, so last term and the term before I developed, I demonstrated various techniques. We can use addition where we add extra notes to a part, subtraction where we simplify a part, take away a few notes. We can use diminution where we double the speed. We can use augmentation when we half the speed. Okay, so there's lots of things we could do. You can also do polyrhythm by adding extra percussion, call and response. Okay, the possibilities are endless. What I'm going to demonstrate with this whiff is augmentation because I'm not sure if I used that last time augmentation is when we half the length so originally this is what we have and what I'm going to do is half that so we have so that's half the speed so I'm going to delete this so I'm going to start with half speed um, with I think I did that wrong. Let me do that again. And I'm wanting to start. Yeah, I want to start on bar five. Okay. One, two, three. There we go. Okay, so let me unsolo that. So this is half speed. Okay, so that's development of that part. And then because that's a kind of, it feels a bit simpler and thinner, I'm going to do a similar type of thing with the bass. I'm going to make it simpler. So I'm going to use uh, uh, subtraction. I'm going to take away some notes. 
Dum dum. I'm going to take away these extra notes so that the bass part is simpler. So I'm taking away those extra notes. Okay, now Okay, now when every, when the melody comes in for the drums um while we're doing another drum fill I'm going to add some hi hats and just the easiest way for me to do this is to add it on a separate track. So let me find a drum kit I've used before. Okay, it's a drum kit. So I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna add some hi-hats. So from bar nine. And that's it, just one bar, which I'm going to loop for the west, so I'm going to loop that for eight bars. Okay. Oh, the length was wrong, so let me get rid of that loop. So once you've recorded it, make sure it's the right length. There we go. Okay. Okay, good. Um, and then for the melody, I'm gonna just use um, I'm gonna use addition. So I'm just gonna add some extra notes. Um, you can do this by re-recording it, or you can do what I'm gonna do and just press in some notes, making sure I follow that pentatonic go. Dun, dun, dun. So there's a bit of gap here. Let's see what that does. See how that sounds. Okay, so I just added some more notes there to make it busier. There we go, so all four parts have development, and that is level nine.